I have a link to get this free PNG image at the end of this video. Go to File and click New. Set the width to 3300, the height to 2550, and the resolution to 300. Select the Text Tool. I'm going to use my futuristic font. You can use any font you desire. I prefer using mine to avoid any copyright issues. Type the word that you want and then press the check mark at the top. The font size isn't important as long as it fits in the box. Right click on the text layer in the layer tab. Select rasterize type. Press Ctrl and T to resize the text. Drag the sides until you have the size that you want. Select the Move tool and reposition it so you have room for the flames. Select the background layer in the Layers tab. Then select the Paint Bucket tool. Choose the color black and fill the background. In the Layers tab, make sure that you have the text layer selected. Then click the FX button and Outer Glow. Change the color to F70300. Set the blend mode to screen, opacity at 75%, noise 0%, technique softer, spread 0%, size 60 pixels, contour the diagonal line, range 50%, and jitter at 0%. Next, click the color overlay. Change the color to C, D, 7, E, 2, E. Set the blend mode to normal and the opacity at 100%. Next, click the satin. Change the color to 872D0F. Set the blend mode to multiply, opacity to 100%, angle 19 degrees, distance 10 pixels, size 15 pixels, the contour with the diagonal squiggly line, and check the invert box. Next, click the inner glow. Change the color to E5C23B. Set the blend mode to color dodge, opacity to 100%, noise 0%, technique softer, source edge, Choke 0%, size 29 pixels, contour diagonal edge, range 50%, jitter 0%. Finally, click OK. Right click on the text layer and select the rasterized layer style. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller by pressing Ctrl and T. And dragging in the edges a little bit. Select the eraser tool. Set the size to be in between 300 and 400 and the hardness to 0%. Click the eraser on one of the top sides. Then click the opposite end while holding shift. 
Do this several times to get rid of that top layer. I had to get the exclamation mark separately. Next, select filters, then distort, and lastly zigzag. Different fonts will bring different results. I will try out Amount 9, Ridges 5, and Style Pond Ripple. Then click OK. If you would like to do it manually, then go to Filter and click Liquify. I'll play with the size multiple times as I go. Hug and tease the edges, but don't go too crazy. When you are finished, click OK. Now click on the flame picture. If you got the PNG file from my link, then you can press Ctrl and C, then click on the other screen and press Ctrl and V. If not, then make sure your image is selected and unlocked in the Layers tab. Click the Channels tab and then hold Ctrl and click on Green, then press Ctrl and C. Go back to the text and press Ctrl and V. Then press Ctrl and T and use that to resize the flame and rotate it. Do this several times until you are satisfied. You can now edit each individual layer or edit them all together. I do both. Select the eraser tool. You will be playing a lot with the size. Once you are ready to merge the fire layers, go to the Layers tab. Click on the first fire layer, then hold Shift and click the last fire layer. Select Merge Layers. I like to add extra highlights in the font area. For the written version, please visit www.fontdepot.net slash firefonttutorial. Use coupon code HOTHOT to get the PNG files for free. Please subscribe, comment, and like. I'll be making many more tutorials.